Did you know that if you've ever drank from a glass, that you've actually been doing some of the vibrato movements? Ready to find out how? Let's do this. Hi, I'm Vanessa and thank you for joining me. So today I'm gonna demonstrate another way to start understanding the complexity that is vibrato. Vibrato is nothing more than coordination between the muscles in your forearm and your hand moving your finger forward and back over your string but because this is such a bizarre <laughs> movement it's very difficult to understand how do we even make this movement and is there something that we do every day that can help you understand it come to find out there is to drink from a glass we pinch and then we pivot. We pivot over our thumb. What we do is we deviate. We move from this position to drink like this. To drink, we use that radial and ulnar deviation to move the glass from this position to here. And we do it in where we control the movement, the pivot of the glass over our thumb. It is a coordinated effort between your pinch, the ulnar and radial deviations, and back. The brado is basically the same thing. We pinch and we're going to do the ulnar deviation, that forward and back, forward and back, except what we do, we turn it backwards. This is how we do it. Again, so pinch and we're going to have that ulnar deviation where we're moving the glass, we're pivoting over our thumb using our pincher grasp except we do it backwards. <laughs> so it's like I'm sending my glass this way with your violin. You pinch and you pivot. With the vibrato stick, you're going to pinch and then you pivot over your thumb. Pivot, pivot, pivot over your thumb. You have a soda bottle, pinch, like you're gonna drink, pivot, that older deviation, that forward and back, forward and back, backwards. Once you begin to do this movement, after you've got, I highly recommend get a glass, because this movement is so awkward, it's so different. I recommend getting a glass and going through the motions before you begin. Every time as you're learning this process, Grab a glass, pinch, pretend to drink, and go backwards. And forward and back, forward and back. Again, pinch, pretend you're gonna drink, and then twist backwards, and forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Vanessa, how, how do we start to figure out this movement? Well, that goes back to the vibrato stick. We're gonna show the dot, hide the dot, and shove the dot. Not down here in first position, but we're gonna go into third. Heel of your palm presses against your instrument. This press is gonna help you with that rocking movement. We're gonna let the instrument, we're gonna let the tool do the work. This is how we do it. When you go into first position, you're going to pinch, like where your hand normally goes. You're going to pinch. Now, so we're going to pinch and go into basically third position. So pinch, push. You'll stop when your wrist makes contact with your violin. So pinch, push, pinch, push. Well, that goes back to show, hide, show. Show the dots, hide the dots. Now, once you get into position, First position, push till your palm touches 
your instrument. How do we get this forward and back movement? How do we help these muscles understand we're going to go forward and back and not side to side? We're going to show the dot, hide the dot, and shove the dot. On my fingers, I have these dots. We're going to start with your first finger dot. So this dot on the edge of my finger is where I'm going to pivot. My finger stays on the string. But all we're doing is like a rocking chair. We're going to rock it forward and back. The note, flat of the note. The note, flat of the note. First position. Slide to third. Palm. Push. And now you're going to look at that dot. And you're going to show the dot. Hide the dot. Show the dot. Hide the dot. Show the dot. Hide the dot. <laughs> you're going to show the dot. <laughs> so hard to see. You're going to show the dot. Hide the dot. Show the dot. Hide the dot. Show the dot. Hide the dot. And you're actually doing this rolling. When you go into first position, you're going to pinch like where your hand normally goes. You're going to pinch. Now, you're just showing this rolling movement. Show, hide. Show, hide. Your thumb, just like when you're drinking from a glass of water, is the pivot point where your finger is doing nothing more than it is rolling, rolling over your thumb. That's it. It's rolling over your thumb. Pinch, push. Show, hide, show, hide. And the way you use your instrument is as you're pushing with your palm, you can rock your hand against your instrument. Show, hide, show, hide, show, hide, show, hide. <clears throat> and I highly recommend starting all of this with no bow. I have noticed that anytime we start adding a new skill, everything else kind of falls by the wayside. Tuning, bowing, intonation, all those things, they just kind of go away. So just to begin learning this motion, no bow, no bow. Just remember, just like a little child learning to walk or a little child learning to drink, this takes a lot of practice. Coordination for your muscles, you're fine tuning your muscles to do this very different kind of movement. That's why we go, we start out slow, very slow, slow as molasses, slow, slow, slow. To help your coordination, and to help your brain to understand what movements are you trying to do. Um, and everyone is going to develop their vibrato when they develop it. Um, you absolutely start working on it. The more you practice, you don't have to be playing to practice. You can be, you can sit in, just sit there and just go through the movements, pinch, twist, Pinch, pivot, twist, forward and back. Pinch, twist. You have a vibrato stick, you have a dowel rod, a broom handle, anything that's round. You don't have to have your instrument out. You just dots on your fingers. Forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. So please be good to yourself. Know that you are trying your best. But just like playing violin in general takes courage, learning vibrato is going to take so much courage too. It's not going to sound melodic. It's not going to sound beautiful. It's not going to sound skilled when you first begin. It's going to sound like your violin is screaming at you or whispering at you or hissing at you because the violin is such a precise instrument. But I have absolutely no doubt, if you keep just going through the motions, taking your time, 
going slow that you will condition your muscles to become stronger, to make this movement, to do that forward and back pivot, to show the dot, hide the dot, show the dot, hide the dot, and that eventually you will begin to understand the coordination it takes to do vibrato. You'll understand it in here and in here and in your muscles and really in your heart. So thank you so much for listening. And I'm sorry for those of you who've seen my other two videos. I'm so sorry that it took me so long to make this video. I have made the vibrato, the vibrato stick video. I can't tell you how many times. Um, and I have done, I have recorded so many videos and I never finished them up. Honestly, it's because it's scared me to no end how many of you have taken the time to watch those other two videos. It's, I'm just trying to make this easy. Understand these everyday movements so that you can be empowered to play your music and give the beautiful that you have inside of you out to the world. I will try my best to have another video in another two weeks. I hope to cover things with you like the things that, that we all struggle with. You know, how do we hold the bow and have we have these smooth movements? Where do my fingers go? <laughs> do they go in a specific spot? Um, when we shift, well how do we shift? What's a ringing three? Um, what do we have notes that we can rely on because we don't have ta well I have tapes but most of the time we don't have tapes how how do we know if we're in tune or not and as I taught I've tried to come up with these figure out ways to explain this so that you're like oh that's how I know if my third finger is in position oh or this or this is position work wait a minute you mean there's only four and a half real fingering patterns yeah it's the violin is difficult so let's make it easy if you have any questions please put them in the comments i'm going to try to be courageous and look at them and answer as many as i can thank you so much for listening and i pray for you and may god bless you and may mother mary smile upon you and your loved ones and your enemies too and I hope to be back with another video, hopefully within, in about two weeks. It takes a little while for me to get stuff done, but in two weeks. Thank you so much.